Welcome to Kencho Quest. I'm going to show you how I've been updating my four-year-old daughter's minimalist travel capsule wardrobe. This is a travel wardrobe since our family is slow traveling long term, but we would use the same principles if we were stationary at home as well. So this is basically my line is just a toy. I have this little baby doll. It's a little cutie baby doll. It's a gun. I'm a little cutie pie. Look at something. I can put the wings in here and ta-da, they come right back up. First, I'll share the steps I use when I'm decluttering and updating any one of my kids' wardrobes. I'll show you how I organize the clothes while we're stationary and how I pack them for our travels. For this video, we partnered up with Wool and Thank you so much for sending us these matching mommy and me wool dresses we're wearing and some other items yeah. for my daughter. Step one is decluttering. So I start by just throwing all the clothes onto the bed. I feel like this way I can get a good view of what we really have. If we have anything hiding in a separate area, like for me, if I left something in a packing cube or packed away in a suitcase, maybe if you have a different storage area in your house where you keep some clothes, you know, wash all the laundry, gather all together and try to see everything at once. Then I sort out the items that no longer fit. If I know for sure it doesn't fit her, I'll just go ahead and put it in the donation bag. If I'm not sure, I'll have her try it on first. First of all, it was really apparent for her that she had outgrown pretty much all of her dresses. So that category of clothing would need to be updated. Also, some of the t-shirts that we had brought on the trip were no longer fitting her. I've been doing this kind of in waves, so I've donated some items. And then I'm working on another donate bag to donate the last few before we move on. Step two is to see what's left, both the styles of clothing and what colors. She was left with skirts and shorts, so she has one, two, three, four skirts, and then a fifth pair that is shorts, so five bottoms here. I've taken out quite a bit of the outgrown t-shirts and she's left with one, two, three, and four. So that's not quite matching up. Either we could add one more t-shirt or possibly donate one of the older skirts so that she would have five bottoms and five tops to go together. Step three, make sure we have any essential items. Our family travels mostly in hot tropical weather, so most of our clothes are short sleeve, summery type clothes, but I do have certain essentials that I always like to have in her travel wardrobes. I like everybody to have at least one long sleeve shirt. For her long sleeve shirt, my daughter has a merino wool raglan by Truly Karis. That's a size 3T and she's been wearing it since she was nine months old, but she's finally outgrown it. So now her brother's hand-me-down in size five is fitting her better. And at least one long pair of pants. For my daughter, those pants are often leggings that she can pair under dresses or skirts. Also, each of my kids has at least one hoodie sweater. That's an item we really like to have for airplane days since it could get really cold on the airplane. Step four, fill in the gaps to complete the capsule wardrobe. I like to aim for around seven days worth of outfits or one week's worth. I think here she has a little bit more than a minimalist wardrobe. She actually has more items than she needed, but we were left with those five skirt short outfits, and then what I had to fill in was getting her new dresses. She does have this one super fancy special occasion dress that we got her in Thailand. However, it's not something that she wears out and about a whole lot because this is not easy to wash, it's pretty delicate. So she wears it at home a lot for dress up, but it's not really one of her outfit outfits to wear. She asked for a purple princess dress that she could wear out and about more and not have to worry about damaging it. I ended up getting all my kids matchy matchy outfits by Spunky Rumps, which is a work at home mom business in the USA. These are made out of tensile Lyle cell, so it's a more eco-friendly version of rayon. And then this is cotton on this part, but I try to get it as princessy as possible for her. So flutter sleeves, double layers, purple her favorite color. So that's one of her new dresses. If you watched my previous video about my minimalist travel capsule wardrobe, then you know that my favorite thing to wear is merino wool dresses. So it only made sense to get some for my daughter. Wool and was so kind as to send my daughter a couple dresses and a pair of leggings as well as a dress for me. Wool and has one of the biggest selections of merino wool dresses. So if you're looking for dresses for yourself and then also if you're looking for them for your kid or if you want to match like us, it's really fun to go on and see. You could either both get the same style or both get the same color dress. So she has this one. 
It even has pockets, a short sleeve option, and I think these range so it's like a four to six year old size. It should fit her for quite a while. I was worried this style might be a little too short on her, but it's perfect, I like it a lot. And then she also has this red dress that she chose, long sleeve. This is gonna be perfect for Christmas with pockets. She also has this organic cotton dress by Winter Water Factory that's a similar style, but she's outgrowing this one, so I think pretty soon we'll be taking this out of her wardrobe and replacing it with the red one. Their fabric is a blend, so it's made with merino wool and also nylon, and the nylon is there for durability, which I think is probably a good idea in kids' clothes it, versus 100% merino wool. This one might be less likely to snag and get holes in it. Unfortunately, her blue dress does already have have a bit of a grease stain from going out to eat in it. So after I film this, I'll be hitting that with some stain remover stick and seeing if I can get that out. Yay, that did work to get the stain out pretty well. Some Bunch of Farmers stain remover stick plus sheep strip. Don't be afraid to let your kids wear their wool. So that all boils down to five outfits that are like skirts or shorts plus four dresses. That's at nine, that's a bit more than I'd like to have. We may end up donating one of the skirts and pretty soon she will outgrow one of the dresses and we'll donate that as well. At that point it'd be seven. It doesn't have to be exact, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be somebody else's standards, just what ends up working for your family. What's over here is a little cardigan that came with a dress she used to have, but I think we already donated the dress, but this still fits. It's a nice thing to bring out and about in our day pack or the diaper bag just in case she's like cold at the mall and needs to add a little warmth over one of her outfits. And her hoodie sweater. Those were the top portions of her outfits and then I like her to have leggings or other items to layer underneath. For her spunky rumps dress, she got a pair of digs by Bumby Wool. So these are wool and spandex and they work well to pair under this dress. I got these as matchy matchy outfits so all my kids got matching. My boys got shirts that match this and my littlest had some wool to match this as well. I think going forward I will always either get my three kids outfits that match each other or get one of my kids an outfit that matches me. It just makes dressing us in a coordinated fashion so much easier. In this packing cube is all of her leggings to layer under her skirts and dresses. I also got little name tags from Keikoa nappies so that I can tell which packing cube is for which kid. It would be nice to have a different color for each, like purple blue. When I ordered these, I thought they'd be kind of a different color for each kid, but it's a grab bag style where you don't know what color you're getting. So they all kind of look similar. So in here she has rolled up her leggings, her bike shorts, some longer pair of socks, pair of tights. This pair is her super nice new wool pair from Wool And. So this works really great to layer under either of her wool dresses. Recently she wore these and her blue dress on the airplane and that was nice that I knew she was plenty warm enough but also she wasn't overheating because that wasn't a super cold flight. The long haul international flights didn't get really cold. The smallest packing cube in her set is where her swimsuits are. I like my kids to usually have two swimsuits. We do tend to go to the pool a lot. They also went to swimming lessons, we go to the beach. So it's always nice to have an extra. While one swimsuit is drying, you have another one to use in case you go to the pool back to back. These two packing cubes are really great little sizes for kids' clothes. These work great for their bottoms or even t-shirts for my son roll up really nice in this size. And this cute little packing cube too. I'll leave links to these below. Then she has the biggest packing cube which only has a couple random items in here right now. When it's time to get going, I'll take everything off the hangers, fold, roll it, put it into the packing cubes and then into the suitcases. In addition to clothing, we like every family member to have two pairs of shoes. Ideally, that would be one closed-toed pair and one pair of sandals. Right now, she's outgrown her sandals, so she might just take her brothers as a hand-me-down and start to wear those. We try to opt for what's called barefoot or minimalist shoes, so something that really allows your feet to move in a natural manner with a wide toe box, a flexible sole. She has this pair by Frodo. They were too big on her when she started wearing them earlier in this trip, but she's grown into them. And then these are just her around the house. Princess shoes, we don't wear shoes in the house normally, so in order to wear these, they're not allowed to go outside. I probably should have mentioned right off the bat, but this closet is a shared closet. So one half was my daughter's clothes, and then my eight-year-old son has items on the other half. Our youngest has his own separate little closet. We also have an almost two-year-old who has his items in here. When we're traveling, when we unpack, I do hang up 
as many items as I can in their closet. I really like that sometimes in Asia there's a lower bar where the kids can reach, but this one unfortunately is out of my daughter's reach. I even travel with hangers. I have some of these softer kind of baby hangers. And then I recently got these hangers at Muji that are like a really lightweight aluminum so they won't be too heavy in our suitcase. But I like for shirts, dresses, sometimes skirts if we can to have them hanging ideally at a lower level. The previous place we stayed, it was a lower bar so my daughter could reach it. Then down here we have their underwear in these nice fabric baskets that my mom made for them. So it's just an easy way to have it so that it can get to them very easily. That's my daughter's. My son has the same over here. And then we have their three packing cubes. Plus, I keep an extra outfit for each of my kids in the diaper bag, especially on travel days. You never know what might happen. Inside this Keikoa wet bag that's waterproof and lined, I have one more outfit for my daughter. That wraps up our organization. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more tips on traveling with kids or living a nomadic lifestyle. Give us some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe.